Today, on the Men's Medical Moment, we give you 10 leading causes of death for men based upon race. Stick around. Today in the Men's Medical Moment, we bring you a very important medical news article entitled, Do All Men Die Equally? In today's study, we will show you the facts behind the leading causes of death for white males, black males, American Indian or Alaska Native men, Asian Pacific Islander men, and Hispanic men as a whole. Statistics show that the most common cause of death in men is heart disease. But will this hold true when breaking down the data by age or ethnicity? Men's health lags significantly behind women's health, not just in the public eye, but also as a focus for the medical profession. Now, do males die sooner than females? And is a black male likely to die from the same causes as a white male? In a special feature article, we explore the leading health risk in males and delve deeper into the data breaking down into relevant sections by age and ethnicity. We also explore why research into men's health should include males from all walks of life. Most common causes of death, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC. Now, heart disease is the top killer when analyzing data from males of all age groups and ethnicities, and large data set for the uh, United States. Now, nearly one quarter of deaths in males is due to heart disease. But to understand the full picture, it makes more sense to look at the data broken down by age or ethnicity, as this changes the landscape quite significantly. Now, while heart disease may be the most common reason for death in all males taken together, accidents occupy the top spot for those under 45 years of age. In males between the ages of 45 and 85, it is cancer. Once men reach uh, 85 years old, heart disease is the most common cause of death. In males under 45 years, suicide is the second most common cause of death. While in males between the age of 45 and 64, it is the sixth most common reason. Now, in males over 65 years, suicide is not one of the 10 most common reasons. The third most common cause of death in males under 20 years of age is homicide. Between the ages of 20 and 44, Homicide is in fourth position, while it drops out of the list of the top 10 in males 45 years and older. When breaking down the data by ethnicity, heart disease once again takes the top spot for males of all ages, with cancer coming in in second position, except now, except for Asian and Pacific Islander men, where there are the other way around is switched. The third most common cause of death is accidents in all males except for Asian or Pacific Islander men, as I said before. Where does stroke? Now, in position four, the reason for dying becomes significantly more diverse. For all males taken together, as well as for the white males as a uh, subgroup, it is chronic lower respiratory disease. For black males, it is homicide. While for American Indian or Alaska Native males, it is diabetes. For Asian or Pacific Islander males, it is accidents. And for Hispanic males, it is stroke. Suicide features in eighth position for Asian or Pacific Islanders and white males in sixth position for American Indian or Alaska Native males and in seventh position for Hispanic males. It is not in the top 10 most common reasons for death for black males. Now, so let me stop here and divide up the men to show you a more clear picture of what affects the life and death of men. Here now is the leading cause of death in men in the United States. The number one killer for white males is heart disease by a whopping 24.7%. The number two is cancer by 22.4%. Number three is accidents by 7.2%. Number four is chronic lower respiratory disease by 5.9%. Number five is a stroke by 4.1%. Number six is Alzheimer's by 2.9%. And number seven is diabetes by 2.8%. Number eight is suicide by 2.7%. Number nine is influenza or pneumonia by 1.9%. And number 10, being chronic liver disease by 1.7%.
Now, the number one killer of black males is heart disease by 23.7%. Number two is cancer by 20.2%. Number three is accidents by 7.9%. Number four is diabetes by 5.0%. Number five is stroke by 4.9%. Number six is diabetes by 4.3%. Number seven is chronic lower respiratory disease by 3.2%. Number eight is kidney disease by 2.6%. Number nine is septicemia by 1.7%. And number 10 is hypertension by 1.6%. The number one killer of American Indian or Alaska Native is heart disease by 19.4%. Number two is cancer by 16.4%. Number three is accidents by 13.8%. Number four is diabetes by 5.9%. Number five is chronic liver disease by 5.3%. Number six is suicide by 4.3%. Number seven is chronic lower respiratory disease by 4.2%. Number eight is stroke by 3.1%. Number nine is homicide by 1.9%. And finally, number 10 is influenza by 1.8%. The number one killer of the Asian Pacific Islander is cancer by 24.8%. Number two is heart disease by 22.6%. Number three is stroke by 6.6%. Number four is accidents by 5.6%. Number five is diabetes by 4.3%. Number six is chronic respiratory disease by 3.2%. Number seven is influenza by 3.1%. Number eight is suicide by 2.7%. Number nine is Alzheimer's by 2.1%. And number 10 is kidney disease by 2.1%. Finally, we move now to the Hispanic male with the number one killer being heart disease at 20.3%. Number two is cancer at 19.4%. Number three is accidents at 11.5%. Number four is stroke at 4.7%. Number five is diabetes at 4.7%. Number six, chronic liver disease at 4.0%. Number seven is suicide at 2.9%. Number eight is chronic lower respiratory disease at 2.5%. Number nine is homicide at 2.4%. And the number 10, Alzheimer. 2.1%. Now that we know the facts concerning the male deaths, what can we do to stave off many of these preventable diseases? Well, the CDC says physical activity prevents chronic disease. Regular physical activity helps improve your overall health and fitness and quality of life. It also helps to reduce your risk of chronic conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, many types of cancer, depression, anxiety, dementia. The next area of activity you need to stave off disease is cardio or aerobic activity. Either moderate or vigorous intensity. Now, every minute counts and ultimately gets you breathing harder and your heart beating faster. Here are just a few examples. Brisk walking, biking, dancing, or yard work. Additionally, muscle strengthening works best when you work all your body's major uh, muscle groups to include your legs, your hips, back, chest, abs, shoulders, and arms. 
You can use the following equipment and activities for example. Free weights. This includes crunches, elastic bands, squats. But more importantly of knowing what you need to work out is how long you need to work out. How much physical activity do we need in order to stay healthy? They suggest try walking 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week, 150 minutes each week. Adults at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity every week, plus muscle strengthening activities at least 2 days a week. Now, I hope you guys learned something, but for the Men's Medical Moment, this is Charles Rivers. We'll see you again next time. And remember, stay healthy guys. Stay healthy.